Okay, VIT students, I realize that um, the go to page button, interactive button, does not export into the interactive PDF. I do not know why it doesn't work, but it is not going to work. So here's what you have to do instead. It's not very difficult. Um, you just have to adjust your button. So uh, here I am in my interactive book project. Um, here in your interactive, so I'm in my interactive PDF workspace and um, in that workspace I have a bookmarks panel, this bookmarks panel here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, I'm going to grab a text box and in that text box I'm going to type the word bookmark here, right? So that's my bookmark that I typed it. Make sure you're selected on that on that text box. Text box. Then go into your bookmarks and create a new bookmark. After I did that, I labeled it. So this bookmark is labeled table of contents. This bookmark I did on Jandon's page here. You can see I labeled it here. That's this one. And continue and make put one of those on each page. After you've done that, double click in and make this text the color of the paper. Now you will not see it, right? It's there, but you won't see it. Same here. Color of paper. Just like that. You can't see them, but they are there. So for example, if I double click on this bookmark, that'll take me to the Jandan page. If I double click to the table of contents one, that'll go to the table of contents, and so on and so forth. Make them for each one of these spreads. Okay, next. Now you've ha you have your bookmarks on each page, then you're going to create your button here. So here's my 4-5 Jandon button. So select it, create the button here, and then you're going to do it on click, just like we've done in the past, and the action needs to go to destination. Once you have the go to destination selected, you're going to tell it to a destination within your photo book. And what is that destination? This one's going to be the Jandon page. That's all you have to do. And click away. If I do that again, let's say, let's say on here or here, you know, where should I put it? I'll put it here. Let's just make a pretend button here. And I'll fill that with white. Like that. Something like that. And this one I'll say, hey, okay, so I want to make that into a button. And I want it to be on click. And the action is to go to destination. And this one, the destination is table of contents. Now let's preview. Here, make sure you click on all pages and hit the play button. It's going to prepare it. And so now I have a button here that if I click on, it'll take me to the table of contents. A button here that when I click on, it'll take me to the Jandon page. That's it. That should fix your problem. When you export this out, it should not give you an error. Okay, good luck, sorry for the confusion, and I'll see you tomorrow in class.